Hello, what's up guys? Shipra here and I'm really happy to introduce new iOS 10 to you guys. So in this video, I'll be covering few interesting and hidden features of newly launched iOS 10 developer preview one that you shouldn't be missing. So before we go further, let me tell you this developer preview one build is known to be buggy. So device may behave weird and few things may not even work. I'm still discovering lot more things every minute I'm using the new iOS 10 on my iPhone 6. Now here is the thing, since this is beta, things tend to change in final version. So the point is, what you see now might not be in the final release of iOS 10. Also I'm testing on iPhone 6, so all features may not be compatible with the device. Now let's jump into it and start with user experience. You see a new redesign lock screen where you can swipe left for the camera and swipe right for the widgets. Yes, you can have widgets on the lock screen. They are in form of bubbles in fact. Most panels including uh, the control center and music controls come in the form of bubbles. Even on the lock screen, notification appear in much cleaner way. It has few added features, but those are not compatible with iPhone 6 as I said earlier. One of them is raise to wake feature which is available only for iPhone 6s, iPhone 6s Plus and iPhone SE which means that older devices such as iPhone 6 and 5s will not be having this. Also, 3D touch enabled iOS 10 notifications work even better for messages. You can immediately respond to messages as soon as you pick up your phone without ever leaving the lock screen. Now moving further with deep learning AI, Siri has now become smarter in iOS 10. Also, Siri is now open for third party apps. That means it will work with your favorite apps from the app store. So you can call a cab using Siri or uh, reply to a text on WhatsApp using Siri's intelligence. Apple has opened the API for developers, so apps will be integrating with the update soon. In fact, keyboard has become smarter. It can sense what you want to type, suggest words, and it can read through your messages and suggest things like uh, creating an event alert, remember address, share location, etc. Messaging now supports live GIF and video playback. Any multimedia can be played within the messages window. Also, say things like happy birthday or congratulations with animation that take over the entire screen. That's pretty cool. Apart from this, the emojis have become bigger and new chat bubbles have come into the picture. So if you're typing a text, you can swap out words with emoji all with a simple touch. And the best new feature is that now it supports handwritten messages. And let's say if you don't want to read those long messages and emails, just hold long on the text and then choose speak. It will read out for you. Next, I'll talk about photo app. The photo app in iOS 10 is reloaded with lots of awesome features. It now lets you show your photos on the word map. Uh, that's pretty cool feature and is a great way to relive a trip, I would say. The spatial feature included here uh, is that your photos will be automatically sorted by landmarks, people, etc. Also, uh, it creates movie out of your best pictures and create a memory in form of video. Check this out. iOS 10 fixes the Apple Maps this time and it is more intrusive. The Maps app is not just about directions and finding places anymore. It can also make reservations, expanding navigation to the dashboard display, etc. with help of plugins. Apple Music 2 uh, got redefined user interface, uh, which makes it easy to use, find the music and organize it. That's pretty much it, but biggest of all is that now you can delete stock apps. In case you need them back, go to App Store and you can download them again. These were some awesome features now available in the iOS 10. My apologies for the long video, but there is so much to talk about iOS 10, but that can't be covered in one video. So for a detailed read, you can follow the link given in the description below. 
I will soon be coming with a detailed feature list of Android N as well. So stay tuned and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down there. I'll talk to you guys in next one. Until then, have a great time.